My name is uh, Patrick Plourde. I'm lead uh, game designer for single player in Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Uh, for us, it's, it's basically refining what we already have. Uh, I worked on, on all the gameplay mechanics, so I, I know them really well. We took the feedback from the player, and uh, basically one of the, the big feedback that we had is uh, make sure that we have a, a co-op that is full-fledged this time, because people are really excited about playing in co-op. Uh, the other one is to make sure that we communicate to the player well what, what is really playing well Rainbow Six, because it's a hard title, you know, it's, it's hardcore, but at the same time it's really rewarding as, a, for exper uh, as an experience. And uh, we want everybody that plays in the game that you know, understand better what is uh, playing in a SWAT team, what's being in command, what's playing well, you know, understand the mechanics and then being able to uh, use that knowledge to make better decisions. And with that it makes the game so much more fun. So it's, 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 it's that those are the, the two main pillars that we wanted. So uh, for, for uh, the story, uh, first of all, it starts five years ago. So we plant the seeds of uh, why one of the Rainbow members turns a traitor. So we're going to understand his, his reasons for, for that. And after that, it's fast forward to the day of the events of Rainbow Six Vegas. And it, it's all happening in parallel with Vegas. So while Logan and his team are in Mexico, then you have uh, in your team Mike and Young in Vegas, and uh, you're, you're you're doing like the what's happening, like the prelude of the chaos that ensues in Vegas. Like it's like you have all you know, you have the, the sands in your hands, and then you just see them like fall in the cracks. So like the, the you see more like. What's happening with the, the policemen that uh, you know that, that they cannot win the fight? NSA that are you know everybody's like in chaos, so the city is on the brinks of chaos. And from that point, it continues uh, past Vegas. So while you know your Mike and Young goes with Logan for the events of, of Rainbow, the story in Bishop continues, and and it it branch with the the ending of, of Vegas. And then this time, uh, you really have to close the story. There's not going to be any uh, to be continued. Uh, so for the character customization, uh, well, it's, it's, yes, there's a, a lot of RPG elements, so it's based around uh, good action. So playing tactically will, will reward you with more points. And uh, with that, those points, you can unlock weapons depending on, on your action. So basically, if you're uh, a guy that, that is a sniper and likes to do headshots, you're going to be rewarded with more sniper rifles. Same thing with assault rifles. So if you're a, a guy that likes to come in, uh, throw grenades and, and, and kill everybody in sight, then you're going to be rewarded with that type of equipment. And as you're playing single player, co-op, online, offline, adversarial, uh, you're going to uh, uh, get uh, reward points, ex experience points, and it's all going in the same pool of points. So basically everything that you do it goes into your uh, uh, your XP, and with that you can unlock new gears, new uh, new camo, uh, and new weapons. So for to have a seamless experience in co-op, basically uh, every time that you play, you're a server, and uh, your friends on your friend list can join in your game. But the host keeps the control of uh, it's the same experience for him, so he keeps control of, of the teammates. It can order them, and the second player joins a, as a, as a friend. As a so basically, he can like participate. He can tag, revive, revive teammates, but he can drop in, drop out uh, without the host uh, ever noticing uh, any change in uh, in the game. So, uh, you, like your experience stays the same. You have your buddy that comes. You can talk uh, over Xbox Live, uh, do strategies. But basically, the host uh, keeps control of, of the teammates. Well, this time, w w we have a couple of glitzy plays, but we want to focus more on the CSI side of Vegas. Because you, you watch CSI, and it's not generally, it's like more in the slums or you see like industrial areas. And that, that, this is the area that we're going to uh, showcase a little bit more in Vegas. At the same time, we're, we're going to touch on the, the glitz and glamour, but I think it's a, it's a more balanced approach. And we have also other areas in the game that are not in Vegas at all, but those are under wraps. Okay. 
So uh, with the year that we have more uh, of development since, since the first Vegas, uh, of course we had, uh, first of all, I think we made a lot of progress in the engine when we tried to port it on, on PS3. So that, that forced us to, to learn best practice for, for both consoles. And uh, I think it, it pays off currently. Uh, we also uh, did a, uh, like we look at what we had and what went right or the, like wrong also and uh, try to correct it. So uh, in terms of, of technology, also we add the latest code drop from Epic. So uh, on, Ra on Vegas, we had to branch pretty early to make sure that we had like uh, to ship on time. So on this time, we're the, 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 the code is more stable. Uh, it's the final version, you know, it's, it's a final version for, from, from Epic. So uh, it, it allows us to uh, create something like it's right off the bat, something that works really well, especially also in multiplayer. So uh, one of the thing is uh, with the AI concerning the teammates, we have them react better to, to situations. So when we send them to a location, they don't act necessarily like robots. They will, they will leapfrog, so they move from cover to cover. Uh, this, this makes them more uh, aware of threats as they move along instead of being uh, two drones that, that, that goes forward on your say now they, they cover them themselves, they cover you also, so that they makes them feel more alive. Also the comments on the type of AI that you face, so uh, it, it, it helps you providing feedback on the situation. As for the, the enemy AI, so we, we tweak them a little bit more, they, they're a little bit, they're more responsive. Also they can carry uh, bullet, uh, ballistic shield, so that can turn around a situation. So uh, you open a door and then you have a guy with the shield in your face. You have to think differently. So that, that, that adds a little bit to the mix. Also, we have laser sights that they can carry. So they, like it, it can add a lot of threats to a situation. And uh, the other thing is that they can carry uh, ther thermal goggles and night vision. So one of the thing in Vegas, like the smoke grenades were really powerful against AI and this time, uh, depending on, on the type, so like if you face like an elite group, they, they won't be stopped by just a simple grenade. They will you know, continue uh, advancing. The other stuff is uh, we have a better grasp on, on what the AI can do, and uh, it was communicated also to the level designer. So in the levels, we have like more freedom for the AI to, to just do their tactics uh, naturally. It's like, you know, they're, they're going to see you, and then they're going to more uh, by themselves define their tactics. So it's, it's, it's a more fluid experience when you're playing the game. My name is Patrick Plourde. I'm lead designer for Rainbow Six Vegas 2. The game is coming out on PC, 360, and PS3 on March 2008.